Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I collimate my Newtonian telescope. There are three basic steps to collimate a Newtonian. The first step is to make sure that the secondary mirror is aligned under the focuser. The second is to make sure that the secondary is aligned towards the primary. And the third step is to align the primary mirror back to the secondary mirror. Okay, so why do we need to collimate Newtonians? Well, because Newtonians have more moving parts than refractor telescopes. When, uh, whenever you transport Newtonian telescopes and you're in the car, you hit bumps, the secondary and the primary mirrors can get out of alignment. When you have a telescope such as this Skywatcher Flex Tube, it has an adjustable truss. So every time I collapse and expand it, the secondary could also be out of alignment. Now, uh, when, when mirrors are not collimated, the stars will look like they are elongated and it's going to be very difficult to reach focus, if not impossible to reach focus. Um, secondary mirrors require less adjustments than primary mirrors because uh, they should be secured unless they are uh, really worn out. Okay, so the first step is to align the secondary mirror to be directly underneath the focuser. This is the secondary mirror and this is the focuser. You're going to need the following things. You're going to need a collimation cap and two sheets of paper, preferably having different shades. This one is white and this one is brown. So the first step is to insert the collimation cap into the focuser tube opening. And then I am going to insert the brown sheet inside. And face it out this way. The goal is just to block the primary from being seen by the secondary and to avoid any distractions. And I'm going to insert a white sheet against the, the wall here behind the secondary mirror, which would, should create more contrast when I look through the collimation cap. Now, I don't have a Cheshire or Cheshire, so I'm using a collimation cap with a hole in it. I don't know if you can see the hole. Can you see the hole? Okay, and I'm going to be using my smartphone. I have a camera phone and what I do is I take a picture of it through that hole take some practice here okay let me try it again there you go okay I tried anyway. So <laughs> you should be able to see something like this. Okay, and then I get a ruler and I measure the distance from the edge of the field of view to the beginning of the secondary mirror. And then the same thing on the other side from the edge to the edge of the secondary mirror. If they are not if they are not the same value, then that means I have to move the secondary mirror either this way or that way. And to make that adjustment in this telescope it requires a Phillips head screwdriver. The adjustment screw is right here. To loosen it you turn it uh, counterclockwise and then you make the adjustment. Now one thing to watch out for is that the secondary mirror also tilts this way so that it can turn up or down. Once you've uh, realized that it's already centered under the focuser, uh, you you're going to want to make sure that that's also square with the, the focuser. And the way you can tell that is if you take a picture of it using your camera phone, the primary mirror should be circular and should be even all across around the, the secondary mirror. 
Okay, so in the first step, you notice that the telescope was already in a horizontal position, and that is because it needs to be in a horizontal position in order for you to insert the sheets of paper inside. But because you don't need to make those adjustments as often as the next steps, you have to remember that your telescope is in this position because you don't want to be dropping any tools and hitting your primary mirror. So in this next step, we are going to be uh, aligning the secondary mirror with the primary mirror. And we're going to need to use an Allen key tool. And to make these adjustments, there are three head screws on top of the spider. So when I tighten these screws, it's actually going to push, it's going to push the secondary uh, towards the primary mirror, but only at a certain angle. And every time you make these adjustments, you look through your focuser with the collimator cap still inside so that you're in one, only in one uh, confined area. And then uh, once you can see all of the, the clips, the three clips of the primary mirror visible through the secondary, that means you're already in alignment. Remember that you want to maintain tension across the three, uh, the three screws here, otherwise it's going to be too wobbly and every time you transport the telescope you're going to have to redo this step again. The third and final step in collimating a Newtonian telescope is um, making sure that the primary mirror is aligned with your secondary mirror. Now whenever they say that every time you have to set up a Newtonian telescope for observing you have to collimate it, this is the step that needs to be done. Fortunately, it's also the easiest step to do, and you only need a tool such as a laser collimator. Now this laser collimator is not very expensive. I got this off eBay for around $50, and it works. But make sure that is true. Uh, there are videos out there to show you how to make sure that the laser is straight, okay, by turning it around like this. I'm not gonna go into detail, but this laser collimator is definitely straight and collimate it. First step is to, I'm going to remove the collimator cap. I'm going to turn on the laser, which is going to be red, so it's not going to affect your dark adaptation when you're out in the dark site. I'm going to insert it into the focuser tube. And I'm going to adjust the distance of the focuser as if I have a uh, an eyepiece in there so in this case I think it's around that much then I check inside the uh, the telescope and make sure that the red dot is pointed at the donut that is the second the, the uh, that would be the uh, the center marker on the primary mirror once that is centered that means your secondary mirror is still collimated now we move on to adjusting the primary mirror by switch by turning this around. Now the laser collimator has what looks like a target. So it has these concentric circles with a red dot that's not inside the hole. There's a hole there. And the goal is to make sure that the red dot goes inside that hole. Now this telescope has three adjustment screws in a push-pull configuration. To make adjustments, I first loosen these um, smaller knobs and then I turn. Every time you turn, the red dot will move across the target. Okay. Each one of these knobs corresponds to a different movement. Once the red dot disappears into the hole, that means you're collimated. 